Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a working trash can. So, uh, in this trash can, whoops, in this trash can, uh, we're going to have some tools. And when we have a proximity prompt on the trash can, and we click the proximity prompt, it'll clear our whole inventory. So, inside the lid, we're going to insert a proximity prompt. And one thing we're going to change is the action text to clear inven uh, inventory. And then down here, require sign of sight, uh, that will be false. So inside the proximity prompt, uh, we're going to insert a script. I'm going to call this script the same, uh, the same as the proximity prompt action text, clear inventory. So before we start, I need to talk about uh, the player's backpack and uh, the player's backpack and character. So, if you guys are having trouble, right? And let's see, I want to clear all these items, but I, say I have this cookie equipped, it would destroy everything else except for the cookie, because if you didn't know, the cookie, when you have it equipped or just any tool in general. It, it, it goes to your player's character. See, I have the cookie right here because I have it equipped and it's inside my player's character. But if I don't have it equipped, then it's not in my player's character. And if I go to the players, as you can see, it's in my backpack. So, if you guys are having trouble with that, make sure to not have any of your items equipped uh, so they clear. So they uh, clear everything. I just had to get out of the way if you were having trouble. So we are going to say script dot parent dot triggered will connect function player. So there is an event inside the proximity prompt which is called triggered. So basically when we like activate it, when we like press it or click it and whatnot, it's connecting it to a function function we it'll run so something will run at a certain time we're going to fire an event and we're passing through player so we know which player we're talking about so we're going to say for underscore comma tool in pairs player dot back pack colon get children we're going to say do and then game colon, whoop my bad uh, get service debris colon add item uh, tool comma zero so basically this line is we are looping through every tool in the player's backpack we are looping through every tool in the player's backpack and this line for that tool, we're basically destroying it. We could say tool colon destroy. But if you didn't know, the destroy built in function actually creates lag in the game. So you should probably do like local debris equal to game colon get service debris. And then you could say, like, uh, could say debris, colon, add item, and you say tool, comma, zero. So there you go. That should be your script done. So if we go inside the game, and I'm just going to duplicate the tools a whole bunch. All the food and stuff. So we have all of these tools. I'm just gonna run over almost everything. So as you can see inside our inventory, it is really full. And it's very full. So if you want to clear our inventory, you could click on it or we're gonna press E. And as you can see, everything in our inventory has been destroyed. And yeah, if this has helped you guys in learning scripting, consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.